Joining us now with more, author of the book, bestseller, Guilt by Accusation, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz, Texas Congressman, also former prosecutor, Louis Gohmert is with us. Good to see you both. Uh, uh, professor, I'll start with you tonight. Okay. When the Supreme Court, when there's a conflict between the judicial and executive branch, I will defer to you, Professor, uh, and the executive branch seeks a remedy, like in the case of executive privilege. Uh, and the court decides to take it up, uh, I would think seeking remedy in the court is the constitutional thing to do. They didn't want to wait for the court's decision, which I would anticipate sometime in, oh, maybe June. What do you think, Professor? Absolutely right. Uh, checks and balances and separation of powers requires that when the president or anybody in the executive branch is asked to disclose material that might be covered by executive privilege, the executive branch has an obligation to say no to the partisan House of Representatives committee and say, look, if you want to have a subpoena uh, recognized, go to court. Get the court to validate it. That's what they did in the Nixon case. That's what they did in other cases. But to hold a president uh, impeachable on obstruction of Congress for simply exercising his constitutional authority as head of the executive branch to impose and invoke checks and balances and judicial review would make Alexander Hamilton turn over in his grave. In Federalist well 78, said. he says, when you have a conflict between the two branches, the umpire is the judicial branch. So the Democrats in the House should have gone to court. They could have done it on an expedited basis and sought review and sought enforcement. They probably would have won some of them, probably would have lost the Bolton case, because that is, as the president said in the interview, paradigmatic example of executive privilege. Getting advice from your national security advisor about national security issues, the courts would generally uphold that claim of executive privilege. Maybe others they wouldn't. But you cannot expect the president, as head of the executive branch, simply to capitulate to a partisan majority uh, in, on a committee of Congress. Let me ask you, Louis Gomer, because I read the Constitution, and I'll defer to you and Professor Dershowitz, um, both lawyers, but my reading is that it is the sole power of the House of Representatives to impeach. That is their mm -hmm. role, but as that is their only role. The trial, it is the constitutional role of the U.S. Senate, and it is the chief justice that will preside over the, the hearings. Now, they've impeached this president. They're going to have managers now present their case to the Senate. Okay. Now, I know some Republican senators are maybe saying, well, maybe we should call other witnesses. But if it's the House's role to impeach, my question is, why would the Senate not do anything except listen to their case and not do the take over the role, the constitutional job of the House? Can you help me with that? Well, you, of course you're right about that. And uh, Professor Dershowitz has made it very clear, too, that uh, the only real abuse of power is uh, by the House of Representatives in demanding that the president not to protect executive privilege, I mean, and not go to court to get it defined. So, uh, yeah, the House did not do its job on impeachment. There was no high crime. There was no misdemeanor. There was no treason, uh, bribery. They dropped all of those things. So the we know, and you and I have talked about it, Sean, when the Democrats are accusing the president or Republicans of doing something, it's exactly what they were doing. It's projecting the abuse of power, the obstruction of Congress. That's exactly what they've been doing. And uh, all of the garbage about uh, clear and present danger, we've got to act now. We've got to violate our own rules and not allow the minority party to have witnesses is we have got to move forward and then sit on it for a month or so. Uh, that just shows the hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. And we haven't, the majority has not done its mm -hmm. job in the House. And you're right, the, the trial ought to go right, we're, forward. Real quick, I'll give, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Professor, just quick 15 seconds. Do you agree with Louis on that and me on that? Yes, I do. And Hamilton, again, in Federalist 65, said you need a speedy trial. You need to have a trial right away. Impeachment and removal are part of the same process, and it undercuts the process when there's undue delay for partisan tactical reasons. Great point. All right. Great Guys, point. thank you both for your insight. Very insightful. It will be very helpful next week.